The human body is marvellously engineered. And probably the most impressive part of it is the hand and the arm. But that gives us a problem. You see, I can hinge my hand up like that, and I can hinge my elbow up like that. It's rather as if I'd made a cardboard arm and put the hinges on it. If I do that, you can see there's a hinge at the wrist and a hinge at the elbow. Once I hinge them both, the whole thing is stuck there. I can't do anything else with it. It's a rigid construction, like three sides of a box. But my own arm isn't. I can hinge it up like that, but I can turn it around as well, completely unlike the cardboard arm. So there's a difference. And how is it that we don't really behave like the cardboard arm? What's really going on inside there to give me all those wonderful degrees of freedom that I use and you use every day? Well, how is my forearm constructed to give me all those degrees of movement that I use and you use every day? Well, have another look. I said there's a hinge there, and there is, at the wrist. There's a hinge there, and there is too, at the elbow. But that's not the only kind of joint that we've got in the human body. Basically, there are five, but the ones we're really interested in are not only hinges, like the elbow and the wrist and the jaw, but also pivots, where we spin one bone around another. And I've got both of those in operation in my forearm. So if I took this model of the arm and uh, showed you really how it works, it's rather like this. There's one bone up there, two bones down in the forearm. And if I disconnect that arm, you'll see how they operate. Certainly there's a hinge down there, but the bone that the hand hinges onto pivots at its other end. And there's a hinge at the elbow, but the bone involved pivots at its other end. So really, the two work like that. If we trot over and have a look at the skeleton, you'll see what I mean. The bones of this arm are now lying as they do in mine. So when I move my wrist, you can see there's a hinge on that bone there. Like that. But the other end of that bone has a pivot on it. So if I move my forearm like this, you can see that end of the bone is actually pivoting. Well, what about the other movement? This second bone here has a hinge there. And that's what I use when I bend my elbow. But you've probably guessed the other end of that bone will have a pivot on it. And it does. And it pivots at the wrist. Like that. And when you put the flesh back on, you have a hinge there, but a pivot there. A hinge there, but a pivot there. And that's how we get all those wonderful movements with our forearms. <laughs>